what is up you guys welcome to a new video uh today we're gonna be working on the v6 we're gonna be pulling out the transmission fixing the flex plate well replacing the flex plate and fixing the torque converter the bolts are broken in there um hopefully we're done today um it'll be one whole video and uh we'll probably move some stuff around here to set up the donor truck uh george's donor truck in his yard so we can start working on that and give you guys content on that um so yeah uh we're gonna go ahead and just start uh jacking it up put jack stands make sure it's safe to go under there um and i'll show you guys how to unbolt the transmission where where the bolts are at and all that and we'll go from there so today's video is specifically for that all right you guys let's get to it okay so we got the boy george right here he's gonna prep where we're gonna be working at um there's a lot of dirt and stuff so we're just gonna use the leaf blower clean up the area so we're not working in a dirty space and uh go for it my george get it all right guys so let me show you guys real quick this is where they cut up the exhaust right here those two places on the white pipe and right there uh they're trying to steal the catalytic converter i'm guessing uh, because they're pretty bad cuts so yeah you guys right now we're under the truck and uh we're gonna remove this white pipe uh try to get it fixed today too as well we don't want to have this open header uh, while we're driving it down the road get a ticket or something so uh let me show you guys here are the bolts for the transmission and they basically just go all the way around um there's some right here for this for a ford 3 uh v6 so there's two right here and they basically just go around and try to look for all of them that are going all around um we're gonna go ahead and do that i prefer to jack and put the jack stands right here where the control arm bolt is um i feel it's somewhat safer it doesn't move or anything and instead of getting from the frame we got the boy george over there we got to take this bridge out which holds up the for the transmission we gotta remove this in order for us to be able to bring the transmission down so we're just gonna start loosening everything up here i'm gonna loosen up the bolts here and we'll get back to you guys once we are almost disassembled all right you guys so like always we're missing tools um his toolbox doesn't have a size 14 we're not at my house this guy and didn't bring enough tools we only brought like a ratchet and a couple sockets. So we're going to Harbor Freight real quick. I'm gonna fly on, sponsor us. We always go buy things from you guys. But right now we're gonna go buy a set of uh uh este, llaves. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English, so I'm saying Spanish. <laughs> the keys I the tail. Nah yeah, so we're gonna go pick it up. Um and get something to eat. We haven't ate shit. So uh there you guys. Uh, I'm keeping you guys posted on what we're doing, and basically right now this guy almost tried to kill us in the Beamer. We did, uh, we, got a we did a, a, a Dukes of Hazards right there. Jeez. But uh, yeah, you guys, uh, stay tuned. We're, we're right now we're heading to the store. Just get those those tools, a little bit of food. Boy George right here. Our GPS. All right, you guys. You guys, so a little update. Uh, we took out the transmission, um, the torque converter, it may be reusable, but we don't want to bring this transmission down again until it has a swap in it. So most likely we're just going to get the torque converter. We call the auto parts store. They do have it. We're going to go over there and I'm going to show you guys the issue that truck had and why it broke the bolts or why I think it broke the bolts. Um, it's just somebody that put it on before and decided not to read or whatever so we got the boy adrian right here he's a hero today because he's the one that would figured it out and he was like oh shit it's not supposed to go like that and then george over there he's just gonna dump a lot of cash but it's a budget build so we're gonna just, there's just things to get it running and things you can't really you know escape from you just gotta pay for it if we do take a corner probably next weekend we're gonna have to take it out again and that's what we don't want so let me show you guys all right basically it says right here engine, engine side. side so the guy 
let's say the engine's on this side right here and he put it like this so when you put the torque converter it's bolted down right here on, on these holes right here and you can see the damage right here this thing that's why it has like a little weight or a little spacer it's supposed to be flipped around and then this is popping up a little bit right here right here so it gives you the little space for the torque converter not to sit flush so what basically he did he put it on wrong and maybe that's why it had play had a lot of play and where they were driving in reverse drive reverse drive it started cutting into the bolt until it snapped it off we were able to extract the bolts off of the torque converter but like i said it looks a little bit iffy so i'd rather just get a new one a new flex plate and we get this thing running right the proper way so we're taking a trip right now to the auto parts store and uh we'll pick it up once we get the parts and come back all right you guys so a little bit of an update we got a torque converter flex plate is back into the truck transmission is bolted up uh we're just fin finishing up the bolts for the torque converter slapping them on and uh you guys will be hearing this thing run and maybe we couldn't get the exhaust done so it's gonna be open header still um probably this guy will take it tomorrow or whatever um yeah basically the truck it is gonna be running like maybe 40 minutes or to an hour for you guys gonna be two three seconds but yeah um cameraman is gonna show you uh where we're at on the transmission and everything and what is up you guys so the truck is now on its own tires serpentine belt is brand new we slapped it on just because we already had removed the old one um, basically everything's bolted down the only thing that we don't have is a white pipe I'll show you guys the white pipe right now how it looks and how we were able to take it apart without even cutting it it just came apart in like three four pieces uh, so it is gonna be open headers right now um, we're just trying to start it up see if there's no noise coming from the engine or anything because we didn't know if it was the the torque converter flywheel or whatever hopefully there's no more noise um, so we're gonna go ahead and start it up for you guys and I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check the oil level as well show you guys you know right now it's, it's saying it's good but uh once it turns on and it starts cycling it through it's gonna pretty much it's not gonna show anything so we got the transmission fluid and everything ready to go so yeah you guys uh let me start this thing
falta We drove this truck already. Um, drive shaft is messed up, so we gotta address that next. Um, muffler and drive shaft are the next thing coming up. So you guys follow me. I'll show you guys. So this is the driver's side part of the white pipe. Which, when they try to steal the cats, they cut there. This is the catalytic converter. Right here, and this is the passenger wipe pipe fitting. So it goes here, and here, like that. It's cutting three pieces, that's why we couldn't put it back together. Um, when they try to steal it, they hacked it up right here as well. So for now, it'd be pretty much open headers until he has time to take it back to the shop, get it done. Uh, we're gonna see if we can weld it up. But if we can't, well, it's gonna stay like that, you guys. Um, but yeah, this wraps up the video for today. We got the transmission in there. I know it's more like a vlog type video because I had all the three people that are here, including me, working on the truck, getting it ready, knocking it out. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think. What should we do next to the truck? Little things like that. Um, yeah.
your guys' input makes this channel a lot better. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for the next video.